Well, this nicer weather here, you might be out walking through the Rose City a bit more. And with time to explore, you're more likely to wander into a neighborhood you've never been and discover a stretch of shops and restaurants you've never seen before. Those hidden gems are part of what makes Portland great and are the topic of this week's Willamette Week. And joining us to talk about the issue is Willamette Week News Editor Aaron Mesh. Aaron, as always, thank you for being on the program. As always, it's my pleasure. Well, let's talk about it. The Pearl, Mississippi, St. John's, all neighborhoods that attract a lot of attention. But Portland still has some places to find. And tell us why it's important that people find these often overlooked areas out there in the city. Well, I think there are a couple of reasons why it matters. The first is that if you look at the condition of our downtown, which this newspaper has spent a good bit of time talking about in the last year, uh, you can see that its deterioration has been sudden and startling. And I think that makes neighborhoods and their business districts, the ones that are that are thriving, a little more precious and that should present to all of us the, the sense that there's something worth preserving. And there's also the fact that, um, that the most famous neighborhoods are also often the most expensive. And in a city with a huge problem in housing affordability, it's important to consider the ways in which you can live and celebrate places that we can still afford to live in. Let's focus on one particular gem tonight. A lot of history here in the city that a lot of East Siders might not even know about. A little bit about what you found in Multnomah Village. Okay, this one's less affordable, in fairness. I just will, will point out that other neighborhoods we looked at include like Portsmouth and Pleasant Valley, places that people might still be able to, uh, to afford a single family home. Uh, well, I'm a village less so, but it is just the cutest spot in, uh, in Southwest Portland, about 10 minutes from downtown. Uh, it has uh, a flapper era main street that uh, looks very much like it did in 1913. Uh, has a, a wonderful bar called Renner's Grill, a, a, a food cart pod uh, called the French Quarter, delicious pizza, and one of my favorite parks in the city, Gabriel Park, is in the Multnomah neighborhood. I love Multnomah Village. They got some great spots down there. I absolutely agree with you. Your favorite hidden gem in Portland. What is it, Aaron? Okay, this one's not in the package this week. It's not in the paper. This is just for your viewers. Okay. I am fascinated by a little city park called Lotus Isle Park that's on Hayden Island because everybody knows about, uh, about Jansen Beach Amusement Park and its carousel, but it actually for a very short period of time had a competitor called Lotus Isle Amusement Park. Mm. And that amusement park is often described as being cursed because of a drowning that occurred there and a rampaging elephant that lost its mind and then a gigantic fire. And all that remains now, all that remains now is this little city park with a playground at the site of so many disasters. Did you did you put up that map just for the show today behind you? Oh, I spent hours, I spent hours hanging it up. You can find Lotus <laughs> Isle like right there. Right there. Always, yeah. always great to see you, Aaron. And I mean that. My pleasure. You can read the entire article in the latest edition of Willamette Week on newsstands now or online at wweek.com.